in case, um, here's what happened with our Halloween activity. What I did, I combined a bunch of your files, FBX files, into this creature. If you have not submitted uh, an assignment that includes uh, rigging and taking the motion from uh, another file, this is your chance to repair that error. Uh, I did update the assignment page so I, I know who has been able to do that and who hasn't. Um, so follow this video tutorial for this. I'm going to make it like as quick as possible. And if you reach the end, you will learn how to do some other things that are very interesting, such as how to use grease pencil to just draw geometry on the seam and uh, how to use a tune shader to make uh, the characters look like, I was going to say the cartoons, but what I meant is like Zelda, uh, a technique that is called cell shading. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, hold on, and I'll show you very quickly right now how to do the other part. Okay, here we have um, some body parts. I'm going to import them again. They're all in the base folder. These are FBX files, so classes, uh, America Imaginaria, humans, Anthropophagus Challenge, and let's bring in Isra's Frankenhead. Um, I'll try test this out with the low poly, okay? So little problems to big problems. And I do okay, it's gonna appear to be very tiny. So I'm gonna press S to make it larger. I'm going to dial that up. I'm also gonna remind uh, Israel that you should sculpt within the X axis. I mean, so that's that's perfect. So the other one actually is wrong. Um, nothing to say there. And I'll also bring Michelle's torso. So import FBX. Um, and the Tethys also, okay, the low poly Tethys of Skyler. Uh, I'll make this, them large. I think that these Tethys, uh, they might make up for some interesting leg in a way. Um, if you want them to scale from the center, you right click set origin to center surface and these are the pants these are not heathies anymore but a very strange type of pant um yeah what a cowboy uh looks like jim carrey in the mask uh import again fbx and i'll do the torso for michelle that i said before there we go uh, frank and torso i'll do the low poly version 2 2.9 megabytes is not low poly enough, but it's okay. I'll press G and Z, which are uh, shortcuts for, for uh, moving stuff. And then R and Z, which is to rotate on the C axis. And I will add um, a limb that's going to be a tail. As soon as you press it, you're going to have that little tail there and I'm just going to expand it and put it here since we do have a tail. And then press match to rig. Good, so that should work out. This is the tail controller. If I move it, it just exaggerate the motion of the tail. If I do shift space and rotate, that's a pretty nifty thing, but it's still not um, skinned or binds to the object. So we will select all of the uh, geometry. I tend to like to select it from the outliner here. Actually, I'll do M, that will create a new collection, and the collection is going to be called Frank and Winnie. Uh, and you press OK, and now I have a collection that only has uh, geometry. And with that selected, we shift select the rig, and then we go into skin, and then we press um, bind. And it says that's gonna take a while, and we wait. Oh. Okay, so and now we test 
how this was rigged. We're going to post mode. Uh, I like to test it by the hips, and it's working fine. It even rotates the radius, uh, Kirti's radius. Uh, kind of crazy. Uh, cool. Some some deformations work better than other, but this one turned out like pretty well, considering that we turned uh, Skyler Tethys into some sort of like a French toast. Um, but it does sort of work. I can actually choose these and it's pretty believable. Cool. Okay. Um, now we will import the FBX file with an animation. There are a lot of those uh, on the mockup folder, um, but I will, it's an FBX file. Uh, I will use this one that says hello HIK. Uh, make sure when you're importing that you expand armature and you press automatic bone orientation, which is this one, and you press import FBX, and then you have the tiny skeleton, and then in auto rig pro we go back to rig, and we press um, remap. We already have this armature selected, so we press source armature is this one. We say that target armature is this one. We press auto scale. We build the bone list. Uh, we select the hips, we check that the hips are the root, um, and the root is on fire, no, and um, and then we go back and we press on that retarget button here. And after a while and some patience, we have the animation that we can, I didn't rig the fingers because I thought it was, I mean, it just takes so, so long to rig fingers. Um, and also Jojo's hands is backwards, but there you see that this person with uh, teethy um, legs that look like French toast seems pretty confident, uh, which is nice for a character. So now for the bonus point. 